Hi there, welcome to the Chaos Chamber. Um, in today's sigil, um, sigil of the week video, we're going to tie in with a, a longer video I did a while ago about chronic pain and sigil magic. Um, and this is one of a, a series of, of sigils that I'm going to show you um, around chronic pain. But what I'm going to do is tie them in with, uh, with planetary magic. So, as I mentioned um, in other videos, on page 89 of my book, um, there is uh, what a, what a, it's under the heading alternative methods. So we're going to use uh, this Pythagorean table um, to convert these uh, this these letters into numbers and make. Um, let me see if I can find it for you. A planetary sigil, which will look something like that. Um, so the first thing we're going to do before we do anything else is. Eliminate the vowels. P, N, R, C, D, S. And there don't appear to be any duplicate letters there. So the next thing we will do then is, is look on page 89 of the book. And... Uh, let's, let's use something... Um, Let's use something a little bigger, shall we? Do something interesting. Um, and we're going to use the Agrippian table, this one here. So we're going to get some larger numbers out of this, and I'm going to show you how to handle larger numbers when you're making sigils. Um, so the letter P in this book has the number 60 attached to it. Um, and the letter N is 40. The letter R is 80. C is 3. D is 4, and S is 90. So we've got some pretty large numbers there. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is choose um, uh, a planetary correspondence that's probably slightly larger. So in the book, um, if you buy the package, there is a table of correspondences that comes with it. So if we were looking for something like that, we'd want something... Um, associated perhaps with healing so for for this uh for this um particular thing i'm going to use the square of us the square of the sun which you can find the, the qualities of the sun on this table that comes with the book and the sun is associated partly with health so what i'm going to do is zoom in on the square of the sun like that and then I'm going to draw a sigil on here and then transfer it across. So we've got some some larger numbers going on here and they may be uh, too high. So we'll see um, what happens. So if we start with the letter P, it's the, uh, the number 60. Now 60 is too high for this table. So I'm going to start on the number six right here like that. So and the reason I'm doing that basically is because you have... Um, you have the number 60 for the letter P. So if it's too big for the table, you add them together. So 6 plus 0 is 6, and you use that instead. You keep going down and down and down until you get something small enough to read. Um, and then the next one is N. So that's 40. Um, the table doesn't go up that high. So we add the 4 and 0 together to get 4. So we're going from here all the way down to 4. Um, and the next one is the letter R, which is 80. Again, not on the table. 8 and 0 makes 8. So all we've got to do is find the 8, which is there. So we go from the 4 all the way up to the 8. Uh, the next one is C, which is fairly simple. It's 3. Like that. Uh, and then the next one is the letter D, which is the number 4. So we go back down here. Now I'm going to come into a separate position like that. And then to finish, it's the letter S, which has the number 90 attached to it, which again doesn't go onto this table. Um, <clears throat> but if we add 9 and 0 together, we get 9, um, which is somewhere on the table. Uh, and I've probably gone over it. Ah, and it's there. <laughs> Typical. So that's quite difficult to see. Um, so what I'm going to do is come back out and transfer this onto here. And 
and there you have a sigil for pain receding um, made using the square of the sun. Um, so I, all I've done here is take it, printed something, printed some of these squares off the internet, laminated them, and then I can just do that. He says, hopefully, there we go. And they're ready for use again. It's quite a handy way of preparing, uh, preparing sigils for this, for this kind of work. So there you go, uh, a planetary sigil for pain receding. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the Chaos Chamber.